Okay, so as you can see, I have this tool here, which fits down onto the vacuum table, just like that. And so that uh, allows a person to cast if they don't have that option. So what I've done here <clears throat> is I have two flasks in the oven, and I'm going to cast them here for you. Uh, normally I use an electromelt. Today I have my torch. So we're going to kind of got this set up because you have to be able to set the torch down, take out the flask, all with two arms, you know. So we'll start off, I got about uh, three ounces of silver here. Sterling silver. So when heating your silver, you want to make sure you tip it back and forth so that you heat it all the way through. A lot of people just heat the top and then they, when they pour it's not completely fluid and you get a short pour. You don't get all your pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a little place to set this down. So I'm going to set it down. I have a place to set down my cork that's safe. Well, it was safe. Okay, let's see. I guess I'm going to have to do it with one hand. So we open the oven. It's going to be really hard here. Okay, we'll have to work on this. Oh, man, that's really hot. We set down our flask. Really tough with one hand. I'm going to try and get it centered. Close your oven. Now we got to go back and reheat the metal. I guess I don't have too good a system down yet. I'll have to work on that. But it'll still work. So now we got to set it down again. A foot switch would be great. Now we have a vacuum. This is uh, bolting all the way through. Dump it in. Turn off the vacuum. Now this thing here is really dirty. I should I should have cleaned it. 
And so what it did is it I had to push down on that to get it to seal. But um, let's see here. We need to let that solidify before we move it. So I'll show you here. Still pretty red and everything. So that needs to be set somewhere. And then I'll show pictures of uh, quenching it and the, the finished piece. So that's about it. Thank you.